We're going to look at the internal anatomy of the cranial case in this video. And so again, just to orient ourselves, here you can see the anterior view of the skull. And we're just going to pop off the top of the cranial cavity so that we can see internal. And I'm going to rotate the skull for you. And so again, here's the anterior, here's his face, and so this is the front and the back. And we see several bones that we've seen before from the external view. Again, here you have your frontal bone, and your temporal bone, and your occipital bone. And then the other side, again, the temporal bone. And then also from this view, though, you can get a better sense of uh, a bone we mentioned before and a bone we did not. One is the sphenoid bone, which is sometimes called the butterfly-shaped bone. And the sphenoid bone, you'll remember, I'm going to turn this laterally for just a second. Here was that sphenoid bone again and the temporal bone. And so that sphenoid bone, if you look at it internally, crosses over from, from here, crosses over the midline all the way to the other side. So it, there's a single sphenoid bone. And there's one important part of the sphenoid bone that we, we look at, and it's called the cella tersica. The cella tersica is this little depression right on the midline of the sphenoid bone that serves as a, it holds the pituitary gland of the brain. And when we get to nervous system, we'll talk about the pituitary gland. A bone we didn't look at because you really only get a good view of it from the internal anatomy or from the orbit of the eye is this bone here, again, right on the midline, and it's called the ethmoid bone. And the ethmoid bone has very uh, three important parts that we can look at. One is this little protrusion that sticks up. This is called the crista galli. Surrounding the crystal galli is a flat structure that's called the cribriform plate that has these holes in it called the olfactory foramina. And those olfactory foramina that you can see right here in the cribriform plate on either side of the crystal galli, those are uh, holes through which the olfactory nerves will pass through carrying, carrying sensory information, smell information from the nose, from the nasal cavity to the brain. So again, so the parts of our ethmoid bone that we can see from the internal view of our skull is our crystal galli, this mid very midline structure that sticks up. The flat part surrounding it is the cribriform plate, and then the holes in the cribriform plate are called the olfactory foramina. You can see here the occipital bone, and again, you can see the foramen magnum from the inside as well, from, as you, we saw it from the outside. 